pitch and we are back in there to tentacle but we need to go to awesome little hoagie um actually just uh, okay do we have anything Okay. I'm not sure if if this is needed, but let's do it. Okay. And let's go back and see if we can recharge the battery. Which one was the one we need? Not that one. This one. Yeah. Don't we have to give this one. I got something good for you, mister. Uh, mister. Mr. Brainstorm? Yes, hand it over. Hmm. Doesn't this belong to somebody? Yeah, Red Edison. Ah. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the man has no vision. A lightweight, durable fabric like this going to waste down in his basement. When I'm done with it, it will fly. Hmm. Eureka! The all-season oh. Francocopter, ready to make history. Okay. No, there's no fuse. So, what do I light? For the last time, you're not going to light anything. You just push it. The whole time? How am I going to get up that high? Listen, just wait for me to say the word now. Then push the kite into the air, all right? I'm on you, lasagna. Let's hope so. Okay, I think we need to add... This now! We <laughs> She's handling kind of funny. You got it. Just hang on there. She's too heavy. I can't control her. Hang on, Ben. Hang on. She's breaking up. She's breaking up. <laughs> Run for your life. <laughs> well, it worked. Now that was interesting. Yeah. Say, can I see that kite for a second? No, I'm taking it back to my lab in Philly right now so I can study the results. Wish me luck. I never got your name. It's Hoagie, sir. Nice working with you, Hoagie. I promise to name an invention after you someday. Gosh, thanks. <laughs> okay. I think we have that battery recharge and... You can add it to the toilet. I don't think it'll get much power from that. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that works. Okay. Now. Let's see what else we can do. I can't. It's stuck. I go here. I can see Dr. Fred in there. Okay. Yeah, uh, with red paint, we don't have it. We need that. 
Let me know that we are here, we can use this one there. Yes. Not sure who has the red paint at the moment. We need it. Something special. No. Nope. Yes, the red paint. Ah. Ah. This is going excellently. We need this one there. We can take the yes, okay, but back to back to here. Oh, I already okay. Didn't remember we actually painted. Yep. Okay. I think we have to go to back there, yeah. And pull the rope. Okay. Now what? Hmm, <laughs> thought I heard something. Everything okay in there? Well, try and keep it down, okay? It won't do much good from this end. Okay. Nah, I'm not going to make that mistake again. <laughs> oh, love it is. <laughs> Oof! Dr. Fred, are you okay? Dr. Fred? I'd better get him to the lab. Well, I got him in here, but he's out cold. Okay, and yeah, that's why we have this here. And some... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One crazy doctor. <laughs> and saved. Damn good coffee. Okay. I think we have to. 
I got the contract for you to sign, Doctor. Sorry, I don't like to sign things that I haven't read. Oh, forget it. I'll get rid of Purple Tentacle myself. Oh, yeah? How? Hmm. Eh, insane? I'm getting Purple Tentacle declared insane and arrested. That's a good idea. But I need a note signed by a doctor. Oh. Hey, I'm a doctor. <laughs> We're in luck. <laughs> Well, good luck. Okay. So. We have the... Oh, wait. What the hell? Oh, the contract has been signed, so... Jump it into the toilet. <laughs> Pick it up and send it. <laughs> Fast. Yes, what do you want? Hi there. Is this Dr. Fred Edison? Who did you think you called? Dr. Spock? Look, I don't have all day. <laughs> this is Farley Crock at LucasArts Games. I just discovered your contract among some very old files, and, well, our lawyers say that we, uh, have to pay you two million dollars in back royalties. Uh, for the use of your family in the Maniac Mansion video game. Uh. What? <laughs> this is Farley Crock. No, I heard that, you moron. When do I get my money? Oh, right now. It's been credited to your Swiss bank account. Operator, get me a travel agent. This is an emergency. Okay. So, that has been done. Can we... Can we not buy the... the diamond? Couch Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda speaking. Um, uh, I want to buy a diamond. That will be two million dollars. Do you have a major credit card? Um, I have a numbered Swiss bank account. What's the number, sir? Um, it's 846-427-35327. Very good, sir. We'll send the diamond by Pronto Post Lightspeed Delivery immediately. Thank you for calling. Now that's service. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'd better get this to Dr. Fred right away. That should do it. Where did you get this diamond anyway? Uh, it was donated by a group of Girl Scouts who were in the neighborhood. <laughs> How heartwarming. Can we bring back my friends now? We've repaired the primary device, but before we can do anything, both time pods must be energized as well. Then we can bring back uh, what's his name and who's her face? Hoagie and Laverne. Okay. Yes, fine specimens. Now, Hoagie has been done, but uh, Laverne is still there. Okay. Let's go do nasty things to this one. This ought to be good. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Well, what do we have here? Looks like a prosthetic rodent. 
<laughs> Another specimen. Excellent. This do this doesn't seem like the best place to start a panic. Mm. Uh, how about this then? This doesn't seem like the best place to start a panic. Yeah. Hmm. And so I said to her, that's not my suction cup. <laughs> You think that's funny? Listen to this. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best hair? Oh, all right. Mm, the mummies has improved. Yes, but it's dull, flat, stringy, lacks body and control. A human's hair should stand up, not okay. stand out. If only it was a little bit better. We need to do something. Ah. Need a brush. I know just the bloke who has it. Lieutenant, I want to ask you something. It may trouble you. Ask away, sir. I can take it. I've got a strong stomach, <laughs> nerves of steel, bowels of brass. Suck can it, son. This is important. Have any of your friends seemed a bit firm lately? Ooh, ick. You mean like non-squishy and non-slimy? That's right. Come closer. I've recently become suspicious that humans might try to infiltrate oh. us. No! Though basically stupid, they oh. can be tricky. <laughs> they may be in disguise. Scary mm. thought. Humans among us. Okay, so. Do you have a brush? No, you don't. Do you have a brush? Yeah. Yeah, almost at the end. Not sure if we can ah, end this one today, but next time. No. I think there is something we can do with the brush. Let's go see. But then we are going to send it to the future. I would, but it would only rain. Okay. So we don't. We did get achievement for that. Back to making our our friend look awesome. Works. No, I might get sauce on it. Okay. I don't think so. How do we? Well, it's better than it used to be, but it still lacks control. Yeah, how do we control it? Ah. 
Definitely need something to fix the hair foot. Damn. Let's try fork. to the wonderful go okay <laughs> yeah okay Hey, don't you think you should judge best hair again? Oh, all right. <laughs> wow, that's the best hair I've ever seen on a mummy. Thick and full and juicy. The mummy wins. Agreed. Okay. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best smile? Oh, all right. Oh, there was laughter. We need the box of laughter. I like the quiet one with the big T. There's nothing in the rules about them being white. First place goes to the mummy. Agreed. <laughs> a pack of penguins. The laughter. That's the one we need. Be. Make some laughter, I'm not sure. Oh, well, let's go and uh, use it on the mummy. Ha, ha, ha. Hey. When are you guys going to judge best laugh? <laughs> oh, all right. Okay, who's got a joke? Hey, I just flew in from Baltimore, and boy are my suction cups tired. <laughs> a classic. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> it's amazing how the mummy can do that without moving his lips. I say we give him first place. Agreed. I think well, we that won. makes him best of show. Let's go congratulate him. He is very well preserved. I'll miss his laugh. It's time to give him his winnings and start packing up. We gotta get this whole show to Baltimore by Thursday. Yes, our work here is done. Awesome. We won.
Well, Ted, this is where we <laughs> part ways. You've certainly helped save humanity. Even though you've been <laughs> dead for thousands of years, I think you're my favorite Edison. Excellent. Can we now get the grand prize, or did we get it already? Oh, yes. We got it already. Well, I think that concludes our um, efforts for today. We shall continue next time and hopefully we shall end this series and save the humanity from the evil, evil beings. But you never know, so you will have to join me and I will see you next time. Until then, bye.